All right, here we are for round two on the draw, but does seem like a keep. Uh, we don't have a Karatid or any of our other two drops, so we don't want to just start on the Elvish Mystic. Uh, maybe it is correct to just lead on it. In case we draw one, it probably is just the best play. Uh, we have access to another white source, so we don't have to worry about it since we drew the Windswept Heath. So we'll just grab a Forest and play this. Now this gives us 10 outs off the draw, so a Wayfinder, a Karyatid, or a Commune to just play a spell and then play the Citadel. Alright, Fleeceman, I guess. And there we go. It's nice when a plan comes together. Alright, so we get a Landwehr Waste, we get a Hornet in the graveyard, which is great. So we can actually... Uh, I don't actually know what's the best play next turn. I mean, I could just very well see just plain whip. I don't think he's going to be able to kill us with this attack in the next one. Especially with uh, a Wayfinder. Yeah, I just see no reason why we won't just play whip here. Chump block, gain a life. And then we'll just uh, slam a. Slam a turn four Hornet Queen. Ooh, even drew an Urborg, so we don't have to worry about taking any more pain. I guess they do have Bile Blights, which would suck. And we just gave them the black for it. <laughs> Maybe that happens. I don't think they play that main, though. Most of them don't, at least. No Bile Blight. Sweet. Alright. Now we just have a lot of tasty bees in play. I mean, our opponent's probably... Alright, Despise, sure. I guess we're out of a Rhino. And no fifth land, so uh, no monstrous fleece main just trying to chip away at all of, uh, of our lifelinkers. Wow, this is powerful. I can see why this deck won a GP. What's the other play? I mean, getting a Rhino in play would help, uh, I guess, with Trample for a turn, but... I mean, these are legendary. I don't pick... I don't pick the matchups. Alright, so... Let's scry... Yeah, we'll keep that one on top. It's a pretty good one. Play a Rhino. And I think we attack with three Bs. I think keeping one back is fine. Especially with Commune off the top. And if he deals with our Rhino, then we can just, uh, you know, whip that back next turn. This is just a really bad board state to get back from. Sure. All right, let's start things off with Commune. See if we hit another... Something uh, banishing light's pretty sweet, actually. I mean, no creatures are gonna fill our graveyard, but uh, 
I do like closing the door on this fleece main line. And again, just attack with three Bs, I guess. We'll hold one back. No reason to attack with Rhino. It's just going to get blocked by his. We might attack next turn, depending on what he does. Uh, just for the simple fact that we can uh, attack. And if he blocks, even double blocks, we can like... Yeah, double blocks probably going to happen. That's not that good of a play for us. Next turn, if we have no other action. I mean, playing a Doomwake is not the worst thing. I guess we can... Oh no, yeah, the Anna Finenza. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like this card actually destroys our our communes. This is like a bad card to play against. I didn't even think about that. Our commune was awesome. That was terrible. You guys were probably making fun of me. Wow. Uh yeah, let's uh just get in with Siege Rhino and all of these. All right, I want this to actually live. Just deals more damage. And doesn't uh, roadblock us the following turn with our Doomwake Giant. Alright, you got it. <laughs> I guess we're racing. Ooh, okay. Alright, the reason I'm not fetching here is because I want to try to get lands off the top with... Did I not produce enough? black just didn't produce any black interesting all right let's uh then play Oh wait, yeah, I don't want that on top of my library, so let's fetch. Go grab a forest. Ooh, rhino on top, that's good. Play the other whip, that's going to give us another constellation trigger. Which will shrink all of his guys to a very small amount that all of our creatures can just attack. Oh, I will keep this one, sure. And then we get to attack into very tiny creatures. And everything has to get blocked or he's dead. I think. Well, he's just going to block anyway. Alright, now he's at two with a Herald in play. Move to sideboarding. All right, so we are against the Abzan mid-range deck. I think we want a Glare. I think Doom Blast seems sweet. Uh, Doomwake Giants are actually just like not needed at all. Our Eidolon's not needed. Um, I don't think we want a Thought Seize this matchup. Maybe on the draw it's good, just to like strip big cards from his hand. But I also want all our big game. I guess he's going to try to go under us, but Solotheros does seem really good. I, I don't want to lower my threat density, to be honest. I think having some removal, whips is good. I don't think we need access to all of our whips, though. Because uh, we're still going to want to just Hornet Queen, because it's so good in the matchup. Uh, Doomblast also seems great. Maybe Wrath and Elspeth should be in this sideboard um, as a better mid-game, because Doomblast is pretty slow on the draw. But I still think I want to keep it and just try to survive with all of this stuff. And just Doomblast the board. Murder's Cut's obviously very good in the matchup. The Cyber probably should have a fourth Murder's Cut for matchups like this. Mm, I do like the Reclamation Sage. These Fleece Mains actually don't seem that good ever. But, uh, yeah.
Alright. Mm. For a second, I thought the Wayfinder was a Llanowar Elf. Uh, this has to just be mulliganed. I want to keep it, but we have to mull. And this hand seems decent. Perfect. Murder's Cut's going to help us in uh, turn four, potentially double smelling, or turn five. Rakshasha is a very good magic card. Uh, I think, yeah, we're just going to fetch and go. Part of me actually wants to play the Wayfinder in case he plays uh, Anna Finenza. Then we're not going to be able to cast the Wayfinder and keep our creatures in our yard, which seems very important in the mid game. But then, at the same time, we can just do this into Corsair and do that later. Anna Finenza might screw up our board position, but uh, I think getting the Corsair in play and starting trying to get card advantage uh, as soon as possible is, is good in the matchup. You got me. Yeah, there it is. So now we're not going to want to Wayfinder just yet I almost just want to it'll cost three if we fetch but I think we want a wayfinder for the whip all right we'll take we'll take a look in here doom blast uh, do we want that I don't think we want that yet. We want access to it. So we're going to fetch and just uh, get rid of that. Um, and the reason that I'm doing it now immediately is just because I don't want uh, him to kill our courser in response to us um, fetching. So we just like lose a life point, especially since we do not want that Doom Blast. If this dies, we can play Siege Rhino, and if that dies, then we, uh, I guess this will die to a charm, though. Then we could just Murder's Cut, but it's probably not going to happen. No play, huh? He's just going to charm this and keep attacking us. <sighs> All right, let's hope we hit a land and no real good creatures, because we're going to have to murderous cut here. The commune would be nice, but it it it's just it we have to do it. Ugh, we hit a queen. Uh, but we get a wayfinder. I do want to keep that on top. And I guess we can attack. We will just kill the Anaphonenza right now. I don't know if I'm screwing this up. Maybe we did want the Doom Blast. I don't know. We might rock, might screw this stuff up. And hitting that. Maybe instead, of course, we were supposed to just kill this guy. I wish we had a removal spell for this guy, but we don't. But uh, we will just play this, see what the top card of our library is, or see what we mill over. Uh, <laughs> three coursers, okay. 
Well, we will not be uh, drawing a Corsair this game. That's really funny. Ugh, there's a monstrous fleece main potentially. Well, here, this is just an easy block. We just block with both of these. And he could obs on charm this, and he could have done that anyway. And we'll just take this. I mean, it can deal a lot of damage, but whatever. Sure. Yep. Mm. We need ZB soon. I guess, yeah, we can still just draw a B. Soul is actually... I mean, theoretically, it's going to do it. If his hand is nothing. Because here we can just throw this under the bus, kill the Reclamation Sage. Alright, run this down here, run this here. Why would you just not? Okay. All right, game three. Yeah, these still just don't seem that good in the matchup. Same with Doomwake. Soul doesn't seem terrible. I guess the, no, the Eidolon's really slow. Maybe you want thought seize, but I think you just want all this powerful stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it as is. It seems correct. Might want a little bit more removal, like a second glare helps with Anna Finenza. Would you like to play first? I would love to. And I'd love to. oh. Oh boy, this is a good hand. We even get to start off with temples. We get to get that Wayfinder into play before Anna Finenza comes down. Uh, I'm going to bottom wayfinder. I don't think we need we want another one, especially if the Anaphenza comes. We want to f start finding removal spells pretty soon here. An untapped land actually would be great. I would love to just slam a siege rhino this turn. All right, did not. We will see what this Wayfinder gives us. Uh, gives us an untapped land. I guess maybe the planes was just better, but uh, we'll just keep accelerating here.
Dill, I'll take the damage. No other creatures, great. Doomblast is beautiful. Perfect, we'll put that on top. Just big, scary monsters. Going way over the top of our opponent, like already. Oh no, Anna Finenza. All right, let's put Whip into play. Say we just attack and just trade blows. Then we can just Doom Blast and keep a Rhino and attack again. Yeah, seems fine with me. Womp womp. Guess we'll just attack and play a Siege Rhino. Or play a Soul. Yeah. He does have a lot of resources, so. But so little life. This might be a turn where he just puts more on the board. Like, I don't think there's any potential chance for him to continue racing. Or there is. Uh, take it. I guess we could theoretically have blocked here. I mean, so it sucks that even if he kills us, we can't, like, use the ability with a downfall. <laughs> this deck is sweet. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, I was just gonna do this and then Dune Blast, but <laughs> oh magic! Is that a good card? I think it is. All right. Uh, anyway, we'll see you guys for round three. Scroll down.